hey guys it's t here again and you are highly welcome to today's video you guys today's video is going to be so 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 helpful to you like if you clicked on this video you don't know what god has done for you because today i am going to be sharing a very very important topic with you many of you have been seeing my videos i've been recommending a lot of products for you now you are confused you don't know the correct way to apply this product because it is not all about buying products it is about knowing how to apply them for them to work so many of you are confused you don't know the right way to apply your skincare products for them to work and that is why i'm making this video today we are going to be doing my morning skincare routine and i'll be taking out my time breaking it down step by step for you showing you and explaining the right way you would apply your skincare products for you to get the maximum benefit from them so if you're new to skincare you don't know how to apply your skincare products or even if you've been doing skincare for a while and you are still confused on how to use your skincare products this video is for you so guys there are some key things you need to have in your skincare routine if you want that radiant and glowy skin there are some things that are so 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 important that you need to make sure that you inculcate in your skincare routine okay and you guys the first thing you need in your skincare routine is a good cleanser or a soap either you use a face cleanser like this one i have in my hand here that is a liquid face wash or you use a bar soap this is very very important because this is the base of your skincare routine you need this to wash your face and you know make sure that your face is clean before you can go ahead and apply your skincare products the next thing you'll be needing in a skincare routine is a toner okay you need a good toner it mustn't be this one i'm using any toner at all is very very important in a skincare routine and after a toner the next thing you need in your skincare routine is a good face serum any face serum is very very important when it comes to building a very very effective skincare routine and after you have used your um what's it called your serum the next thing you'll be needing in a skincare routine is a good moisturizer or a good face cream very very important in a skincare routine if you want to have that healthy radiance glowy skin and once you're done with applying your moisturizer you'll be needing a very very good sunscreen in your skincare routine as well now let me show you guys how you can use all these products the right way for you to get that results that you want on your skin okay now i just had my bath this morning and i didn't wash my face when i was in the bathroom because i wanted to show you guys in this video so when you wake up in the morning when you want to take your bath you enter into the bathroom the first thing you need to do is to wash your face right so for washing of my face i got this um facial cleanser this is a facial cleanser it is from face facts and it is known as the face fact um blemish clarifying foaming cleanser and i got it for the price of eight thousand naira in the market okay so this is what i used to wash my face but before i bought this this is the face soap i was using to wash my face this particular turmeric and honey soap is oh my god this soap is amazing i don't know why you guys are criticizing this soap on social media but trust me this soft seven turmeric soap if you don't have money to buy face cleanser like you don't even need face cleanser once you get a very very good brightening bar soap you are good to go this soap will brighten you bad like brighten you like crazy and it will help you with pimples and breakouts since i began using the soap my pimples have not been coming out the way they normally do this is a power brightening soap i think this soap is like three thousand currently very very cheap and you're going to use it for a long time if you're using it only on your face now first thing to do is to wash your face you're going to have to wet your face like so. so let me take a good quantity of the face wash like so so after wetting my face this is it you take your face wash this is a foamy face wash oh you're going to apply your face wash the way i'm doing any face wash you're using if you don't have face wash if it is um what is it called face um face soap you are using just apply it on your face the way i'm doing okay cool oh. one thing that you guys are not doing well is that when you are washing your face you don't take out your time to massage your facial product like right? you need to make sure that you massage your face wash on your face for a while rub it in very very well to help remove all the dirt break down all the dirt break down all the oil break down all the impurity that may be on your face don't just apply soap on your face and leave it like that you need to make sure that you massage it in properly okay so that's what i'm doing right now i'm taking out my time i'm going to massage this on my face for at least one minute as a stretch okay don't forget you're going to apply on your neck or your neck as well apply it on your neck because i'm doing video i don't want to stay myself but normally i would apply my um, face wash on my neck 
After you have massaged it onto your skin for one minute, you need to make sure that you leave it on. Don't rub soap and wash it off immediately. That is one mistake a lot of you are making that is making you not to be seeing results from your skincare product. Leave it on your skin for like three minutes first before you wash it off allow it to stay on your skin let it sink into your skin let the face wash sink in and start working if you wash it off immediately it will not have enough time to penetrate your skin and work that is why you're not seeing results from your face soap or your face wash so i'm going to leave this on my face for like three minutes so after it has stayed on your face for like three to five minutes you will now go ahead and wash it off okay so guys after washing my face like i'm done washing my face now the next thing to do is to clean my face with a clean face towel i realize that many of you don't have a separate towel for your face many people are still using their body towel for their face that's not good okay you need to try try and get a small towel like this one preferably like a white color a light color like this so that you will know when it gets dirty and you wash it immediately you cannot be using your body towel on your face in this day and time okay so guys after you're done washing your face and you've cleaned your face the next thing to go in with is a toner okay this is the toner i am using currently this one is aquel the popular aquel toner and this is the aquel 5.5 liquorized ph balancing toner so this toner contains liquorized and liquorized is very good for brightening and it's also a very good ph balancing toner so after i wash my face i will take my toner like so and i'm going to apply it on my face okay so i'm going to take my toner like this and apply it on my face you need to take enough quantity of your toner i usually prefer to like work it in gradually because the toner is very very liquidy so it can tend to pour so i like to take like small quantities at a time so that it will not pour out of my hand but you're going to take your toner and gently apply it press it onto your face the way i'm doing okay toner has the ability to make your face to look hydrated to just give your face some extra nutrients and some extra glow but if you cannot afford a toner right now i understand okay because i couldn't afford a toner like a good toner some so a while ago so i can understand if you cannot afford a toner don't worry you can skip toner and just go straight ahead and use a serum so when you're applying your toner make sure you apply on your neck as well because whatever you do to your face you do to your neck as well so that your neck will not be looking darker than your body okay so after using the toner the third step in your skincare routine is your serum now you will choose a serum according to your skin type according to your skin concern according to what you want to treat on your skin so i got this particular um serum this is the serum i'm using right now it is known as the balance active formula niacinamide blemish recovery um serum this serum contains 15 percent active niacinamide and niacinamide is a powerful product for people that tend to have dark spots if you have dark spots if you have blemishes if you have um discolored skin niacinamide is a powerful product that will help with that because i have an acne prone skin that is why i always use like niacinamide on my skin so this is how the serum looks so i'm going to take a little quantity of my serum like so guys you're not supposed to allow this dropper you're not meant to allow this dropper to touch your face when you're applying your serum blend it in like this okay and you're going to apply it on your face and blend it in just the way you can see me do it don't forget anything you apply on your face apply it on your neck so that your neck will not be looking darker than your body okay so fourth step in your skincare routine after your serum is to go in with your face cream or your moisturizer okay so you guys this is the moisturizer i always use many of you have been asking me how do i apply aloe vera gel this is the video for you so after i apply my serum i will go in and apply my aloe vera gel i have a good reason why i use aloe vera gel as my face moisturizer because aloe vera gel is a water based moisturizer and because i'm somebody that has an oily acne prone skin most of these face creams out there are not really water based like the the water based moisturizer i I normally see like this one from neutrogena they are very expensive compared to aloe vera gel aloe vera gel is very cheap and it is water-based it is very good for people that have oily skin when i say water-based i mean it does not have any oil inside it's just basically water-based and it will help you a lot with your oily skin if you're someone that has oily skin like me 
you can be using aloe vera gel like aloe vera gel is very good it will moisturize your face but it doesn't contain oil and because it doesn't have oil in it it is very good for people that have oily acne prone skin if you don't have oily acne prone skin just get a good moisturizer any of the moisturizers i've been reviewing on my channel and use i have this face cream this face cream from face fact this bright plus clear face cream this is the face cream i use at night only i use my moisturizer this one in the daytime don't just use only aloe vera gel and relax you need to make sure that you are also getting a very very good brightening face cream that you be using in the night if you want your face to really get bright because aloe vera gel does not really brighten what it does is that it hydrates and grows up your skin so that's how you use it so guys you can see that my face right now is looking very very hydrated and very very well taken care of like i'm not looking dry at the same time i'm not looking oily the fifth and the final step in your skincare routine is to apply sunscreen this is my morning skincare routine and because it is morning time i am going to be going out under the sun to do my day-to-day -day activities therefore i need to make sure that i am protecting my skin from the sun you cannot spend your money and buy all these skincare products and do all these steps and you skip sunscreen it means you want to have sunburn it means you want to get darker because when you enter under the sun after applying all these products and you don't protect your skin with sunscreen you're going to get darker and you're going to have sunburn on your skin so you need to make sure that you get a good sunscreen for me this is the sunscreen i have been using and i am still using it for a while now the dr rachel sunscreen many people have been saying that this sunscreen is not really that good yes it is not the best sunscreen out there but at the same time it is not bad if you're someone that is on a low budget i will not tell you to go and steal money or to go and carry money for your food and buy expensive sunscreen you can still be managing this one it is not the best sunscreen out there but it is not that bad i use it and i'm still using it right now because the one i got has not yet finished when it finishes i may not buy it again not because it is terrible it is not terrible it did not do anything bad to me but because i know that there are better ones out there and since i can afford to get better ones i will get better ones for myself but if you cannot afford it my dear please stick with this one it's better for you to use something than not use anything at all stick with the one you can afford while you are waiting for god to bless you with money to buy the bigger ones when i could not afford bigger sunscreen i was using this one and it was working for me but now that god has started blessing me and i can now afford bigger ones i would buy the bigger ones but i'm not here to insult dr rachel's screen and say it's not good it is good because i used this for a very long time and it was working for me so you're going to apply your sunscreen sorry guys on your two fingers like this the sunscreen that will be enough for your face and for your neck has to cover your two fingers it's called the two finger rule with using sunscreen so just the way it is like right now i would not take it and apply it on my face you guys this is how it is the thing about this sunscreen when you apply it on your face like this give it some time like 10 minutes or five minutes to stay on your face first before you can now um blend it in since i began using this particular sunscreen it has never when i say never i mean never ever ever has it given me any reaction like um darkening or pimples or rashes it has never but if you are reacting to dr rachel sunscreen maybe you should stop using it and get another sunscreen it must not be dr rachel sunscreen instead of it of you to be insulting dr rachel sunscreen just stop using it because it works for a lot of people and it works for me it is not the best sunscreen out there but at the same time it is not so bad the way people are saying it. there are worse sunscreens like this than these ones they are worse sunscreens and this so guys i'm done applying my sunscreen now and can you guys see my face do you see any sign of white cast on my face you guys saw the quantity i used right i used two fingers of this dr rachel sunscreen do you see my face looking white it doesn't leave white cast i don't know why people say it leaves white cast maybe it's your own skin type but for my own skin it doesn't leave any white cast at all so the sunscreen is the last and the final step of your skincare routine and after applying your sunscreen you can go ahead and apply your makeup there is no rule that says you cannot do makeup this is my makeup kit this is my makeup kit right here and i can actually go ahead and apply my um primer i can apply my foundation i can apply 
everything i am supposed to apply on a normal day now let's talk about body care routine very very quickly okay body care routine let me show you guys what i use on my body very very quickly when it comes to my body care routine this is the shower gel i use this is the freezer no moisturizing shower gel this shower gel is so big and so economical and it brightens the skin very very well now one thing i've been doing differently in my body care routine is that i now double cleanse my body i like to use a bath soap i will bathe first with a bath soap any good bath soap but this is the bath soap i'm currently using this dove pampering bath soap it smells so good it contains shea butter and it has vanilla scent and it smells very good this is the bath soap i'm using it's going to help you a lot to you know cleanse your skin without drying out your skin so when i wash my body with my sponge i use my bath soap first when i'm done washing with bath soap then i will rinse it off and then use my sponge again with my shower gel and when i use the shower gel i will leave it on my body for like three minutes before i wash it off so that the lightening and the brightening effect of the shower gel will sink into my body so double cleansing your body is one way you can make your body wash more effective so this is the combo i've been using on my body for some time now so when i leave the bathroom for my body i don't do too much the only body lotion i use is this particular nivea radiant and beauty even glow body lotion this is the body lotion i use and i pair it with this um this are vitamin c gel oil this is the product this is the combination i use on my body so you guys that's basically how you can apply your skincare routine so if you've been confused all this while i hope that this video has been helpful to you please if you found this video helpful in any way if you learned even if it is one new thing from this video today please give this video a thumbs up like this video for me leave a nice comment down below i love to see your comments and i love to respond to your comments so please bombard me with comments i will respond to as many comments as i can okay and you guys i'll see you in my next video till then remain blessed i love you all bye Mwah.